Okay, okay, that last Chris Hansen video was uh, a bit of a doozy. So to make up for it, here's one that is considerably lighter. Schumacher is trouble with a capital T. After this online chat, he talks his sister, who's got a child or two in the car, into driving him over there and waiting out in the driveway because he wants to take this this underage girl to, to some party someplace. Well, your sister sounds like a real intellectual. I only say that because if I tried to pull this crap on one of my sisters, they would have a hundred billion questions to ask and... It just would not be worth answering all of them. All right, Rob, I don't know how you're going to handle it. This is our boy. And just so you know, the wildest thing he's ever done is run from the cops. He answered, he told us that, that he's ran before, so he got rabbit blood. Ah, yes, that GTA life imitating art. So, right off rip, I can tell you this dude's a fuckboy. Apart from the fact that he's coming over to this house to try to hook up with a minor. Two reasons. Number one... He's doing that friggin' white guy in the hood swagger walk bullshit. Number two, the way he's wearing that fucking hat. Can somebody please explain to me why this has, how this has ever caught on? How this became a popular thing? What does this do? Other than make you look like a retard who doesn't know how to dress himself. Well, yeah, he talks about the, uh, weed, calls it green. Green? Did you green. 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 I've heard it referred to as ganja. I've heard it referred to as devil's lettuce. I have never, and the rock means ever, heard it referred to as fucking green. I got my sister and some babies out in the car too, though. Did you bring some green? No, we're gonna smoke some though when we get some. Hey, I just made some cookies, but I got chocolate on my shirt, so I'm just gonna change real fast. Right, I'll be right out. All right. You can try one of my cookies, they're so good. Did you make them? Yeah, I made it myself. Alright, I eat one. I like chocolate chip. No, 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 no need to ask for permission to touch the cookies or turn on the TV or make yourself at home, dude. You know, it's not like you're in a complete asshole stranger's house or anything. Hey, why don't you have a seat right over there? How you doing? Good, how are you? What's happening? You want a blowjob while I talk to you? No. I wasn't offering it personally. Good hands up, I can see. I love the incredulous look he gives Chris after dude says, hey, just keep your hands in sight. Like, motherfucker, well, I ain't gonna pull a gat out on you, man. I, ain't, I can't even possess a gat. I got like, I've been convicted of like 10 different felonies in 19 different states, fucking. He thinks that, well, this is a bad situation, but, you know, all I gotta do is talk my way out of this with the girl's dad. This should take a matter of minutes, and I'm out the door, and I'm back in my sister's car with her kids, and I'll go to my party without the girl. I would pay money to see this douchebag try that shit with one of my sister's nieces. Who are you here to pick up? What's your date's name for the party? B. B. And how old is B? I don't know. He didn't really tell me. This nigga was clearly lying. Then it becomes clear to him that, that I'm not the father, so then he thinks I'm with law enforcement. But now he's starting to suspect he might be in a little more trouble, but he's still thinking he can talk his way out of this. You seem like law enforcement. I happen to know law enforcement. You when do I law enforcement, him. yeah. I happen, to know, I happen to know law enforcement when I see him. You come off as law enforcement. Really? So. I am not the least bit surprised you just said you happen to know law enforcement. In fact, I'm sure you happen to know quite a few officers. In fact, I'm sure there's more than one officer that happens to pick you up on the regular for disorderly conduct. How old are you? I? I'm 21. 21. Do you see an issue with a 21-year-old coming over to visit a 14-year-old? I didn't really know she was 14. She told you. Oh, we were in a role-playing chat room. Have you ever given or got head? Do you need a teacher? Watch porno. And? You got porno. I'm an adult. Yes, but the girl you were talking to was not. Well, I didn't know that, dude. 
What have I said at least once with these last couple of Chris Hansen videos? Don't shit on my plate and tell me it's a brownie, dude. And your poor sister's waiting outside with two babies in the car? Yeah. So because you had to come over here and have sex with a 14 year old. I'm not even coming over here to have sex. Did, why would you put that sister of yours? I didn't in that come position? over here to have sex. I come over here to get the girl and go to the party, dude. Man, you can just see the gear spinning in his head. He's just like, fuck, he definitely is law enforcement. He knows. He knows, man. He's got the transcripts and everything. Man, oh, okay, okay, okay. You, you can talk your way out of this. You can talk your way out of this. Just, just keep bullshitting him. Just keep on bullshitting him. Eventually, he's gonna, he's gonna believe you. Eventually, he is gonna believe you. Who are you? I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and okay. we're doing a story. You do look kind of familiar. Right. Hey, man, I don't want, I don't want to um, be on on the news. You feel me? We are filming. I don't want to be on the news, dog. Well, it's a little late for that, dog. Now, if there's anything else you want to tell me, no, I was in a role playing chat room, dude. Two things, bro. First off. Don't try to act like they ain't been recording your goofy ass since you, since your sister, rather, pulled up to this house. Secondly, that's not how you do fucking cornholio. This is how you do cornholio. Are you threatening me? Hey, my bunghole will ask the questions. Hey, why do I not use peepee for my peepee? -pee? You got the um, phone records? You got that? Taped conversations? You know, you're not really in that uh, much of a strong position here. I know that, man. Listen. Am I being held up here? You're not being held up. You're free to walk out that same door you, you walked in. Y'all want to interview? Okay, how y'all doing? Okay. Am you I can walk out that door anytime you want. Actually, David, we would love for you to just walk out the door because, frankly, you look like you bathe in Axe body spray. NBC. And you're Chris, Chris Hansen. All right, listen. NBC. Let me, let, me, let me explain something to NBC. I, I don't know what kind of um, rap y'all got on, on people, but maybe I'll get the whole story because this girl is in a role-playing chat room and... If she wants to play like she's 14, hey, whatever. But on the phone, the girl told me something different. You keep saying... Role-playing chat room. As if somehow that's supposed to be substantially less creepy than you showing up to a minor's house to sleep with them. No, it's still creepy. It might be somewhat creepier. You showing up to the house is... is that's, that's fucked in and of itself. You in a role-playing chat room like you claim you were in? That says that you fantasize about this kind of shit. And you expect me to believe that? Yeah, you don't gotta believe it. I'm not trying to convince you, or these cameramen, or anybody else. Who are you trying to convince? Nobody, man. Yourself? Calm chill, man. Hmm. If ever there was an appropriate time for police brutality. Schumacher has his nose in trouble before, so it's not his first time in terms of a ride in a police car. And I don't think the sister had any clue as to what was going on. She was just trying to do her brother a favor because he had lost his license in a previous incident. Baby got back. <laughs> I had to, man. I just couldn't resist. Baby got back. What's going on? You your brother? Yeah. You brought him here so you have sex with a 13 year old. 13? Yeah. You know, it's a real shame that she doesn't flip her wig on him because I happen to know exactly what one of my sisters would do if I ever put them in this kind of situation. It's unfortunate that the sister's got to go through all this. Obviously, she didn't get into any trouble. She had done nothing wrong. She's just trying to help out her brother. I got two words for NBC. Role-playing chat room, all right, y'all? Because, man, the girl was role-playing. Oh, shit! He told me she was 17. I haven't even laid eyes on the girl. If I knew that she was 13, I wouldn't even picked her up. Dude, this is a bum rap, man. Does it look like I need to get 14-year-old girls? Tell you the truth, you look like the kind of guy who would beat his girlfriend and then blame her for it. So, for all we know, every woman in your community has either dealt with your shit or has heard of your shit and knows to stay away from you, leaving underage girls as your only option left.